Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're gonna to be planting my peppers. So I know it is super, super, super late in the season to be planting peppers, it's currently June, but uh, now that I live in Virginia, we have a really, really long growing season here. So the first frost is until like the middle of November. So I'm hoping, even though I'm starting these seeds super, super late, that I'm still gonna be able to get a bunch of peppers from them. So anyways, let's get planting. So I'm gonna be doing it a little bit differently than I normally do. Normally, as you guys know, I do the double cut method, which there'll be a link to the video up there. But, you know, I figured I wanted to try something a little bit different. So I've got these little cardboard um, seed starting trays. And then I also went to the store and I bought some, um, what is it, coconut fiber, kind of like growing medium to start seeds. So we're gonna see kind of what happens and hopefully this works out well. So I'm gonna be planting this year, we have Carolina Reapers. And then I'm also gonna be planting, um, last year I grew this like crazy hybrid, purple, super hot. So we're gonna to try to grow it again and see what happens. I think the first thing we're gonna do is, I, mean, I got this Tupperware container we're gonna put it in because water will just kind of flow right out of this. So I don't wanna ruin like my counter or whatever. So I guess we'll open this up. And I think we're just gonna use one of these trays. I have a pretty small backyard, so I don't have a ton of room to do peppers. Plus I already have some other stuff going in my garden outside. But anyway, so yeah, looks like there's eight cells per little tray here. And it should be pretty easy. So, let me take out, I don't know how many of these pellets I need for each one. Let's see. Um, actually, yeah, I already opened this one here. All right, so we're just gonna take these pellets and we're gonna put one pellet in each of these. And these are, um, these pellets are a little bit different. They're not like the ones that have the kind of like mesh around them. Um, so these ones will just basically just turn into dirt. Um, so there's nothing to like hold them together, which is why I need these little seed starting trays. So, oh, whoop, that's too many. I might need two pellets per thing, but we'll find out. And then we're just gonna take a bit of water and we're just gonna pour some water over top of these. These cardboard things are kind of cool because after my seed's ready to be transplanted, I don't have to take them out of here. I can literally just take some scissors and just cut these apart and then just put these cardboard things right in the um, pot that I'm putting them in because the roots will just kind of grow right through that cardboard. So there you go. I don't know if you guys can see that well or not. I can't tip it too much because there's water, but these things are expanding like super fast. Look at that. It's just like shooting right out of there. Look at this one. <laughs> all right, so I might need, might need more than one. So they didn't all expand to like the same amount. I don't know why that is. Um, whereas like, so like this one, I only put one pellet in that one and this one's like completely full. Whereas this one, I took some dirt from one of the ones I put two pellets in to fill it because that was like super empty still. Um, so I don't know what's up with that, but oh well, we will make do. So what we're going to do is we're going to put toothpicks in the ones that are going to be my hybrid pepper and then there's going to be no toothpicks where we're planting the reapers. Um, so I guess we'll just do that. All right, perfect. Now I just got to remember not to stab myself on these two because I forgot how pokey toothpicks were until just now. <laughs> All right, so let's plant my hybrids first. So I'm gonna put two seeds in each one um, just to make sure, since I'm only planting eight little things total, I wanna really make sure that I get a pepper to sprout in each one. So this stuff, um, this coconut fiber stuff does feel like it's a really nice seed starting mixture. It's really loose and soft, I guess, which is like really what you want when you're starting seeds. So there's two in that one. And we're just gonna cover it up and very lightly tap. You don't wanna really pack it down or else the seeds will have trouble coming up. And when I'm putting these under the surface of the soil, they're only going maybe an eighth of an inch down. So I'm not putting them very deep. You don't wanna like bury them all the way down like at the bottom of these trays because then they're probably not gonna come up. All right, so now that we got the hybrids, we're going to plant the Carolina Reapers in these sides. So, I don't know if you guys know who invented the Carolina Reaper, but it was a guy named Ed Curry. And for the past couple years, he's been claiming that he created an even hotter pepper that he's calling Pepper X. And I know a lot of people kind of think that he's kind of just doing it for publicity. Maybe he doesn't have the actual pepper. But I was listening to a podcast. Um, if you guys know who Mike Rowe is, the guy who does Dirty Jobs, um, he has a podcast. And anyways, um, Ed Curry was a guest on his podcast the other day. 
And he was saying that the reason that he hasn't released the new Pepper X yet is because I guess getting it certified as like the world's hottest pepper, I guess it takes a lot of like legal paperwork. But he did say that he finally has all the paperwork done. So he's hoping to release it officially this year in 2023. If he does end up releasing that this year, I'm gonna definitely try to be one of the first people to get the seeds and hopefully grow it on this channel. So we have all my seeds planted now, and now pretty much the only thing to do is let them sprout. So, you know, with the double cut method that I do, normally I put some saran wrap over the top to create that greenhouse effect. But since all these are in a nice little Tupperware container, we're just gonna put the lid right on it. And it doesn't matter if the lid's blocking out most of the light. Seeds don't need light until they start sprouting. So there we go, we got a lid, and now we're just gonna place it somewhere warm and check on it every couple days until the seeds sprout. Uh, we're gonna make sure also we're keeping all the soil moist. We don't want it to dry out. If it dries out, then it'll kill all the seeds. So be checking back in a couple weeks for another one of these videos and an update on this, because I will be making another one as soon as these seeds sprout and I transplant them into some new pots. Anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.